So Kiefer Court is located right on the outskirts of the University of Minnesota. We're on the West Bank and prior to the pandemic, I had just taken over the family business, um, working 16, 18 hours a day, um, kind of, we were busy, we were open six days a week, long hours. And when the pandemic hit, um, the first reaction was actually, we were, we were really slow. I, I actually looked at my parents at one point and asked them, we have, customers aren't coming in, is this the end of our era? Is this the end of Kiefer Court? Do we shut down? Do we close? Um, you know, in the first month, a lot of restaurants were closing down. And so we, it was a lot of uncertainty. And so we kind of scaled down. And so I continued to do the work. My parents decided to step in and help me out too. So that really helped us out, you know, in financial terms. Um, we also closed one extra day. So we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. We've also shortened our hours so that there's no um, dinner time. So it's just from 9.30 to six. And so with that happening, you know, we, we were able to figure out how to make things work for us financially and continue to stay open. And after the first month, Customers started coming back. We noticed our sales were picking up. People were ordering through the third-party delivery systems that we recently set up. Um, and we were lucky enough to have recently set up um, credit card payments too, so we could do phone orders and then do curbside and pay over the phone and things like that. Um, and then as as we moved along through 2020, um, you know, we have, such a great customer base. Our support system here has been amazing. People continue to come in and tell us that they'll keep coming as long as we stay open. And I tell them we'll stay open as long as you keep coming. Um, and then as we move into 2021, um, you know, things are starting to stay steady and we are now in phase two of trying to figure out what we need to do to kind of go through the next steps. Do we open for dinner? Do we open for dine-in? There's a lot of things to consider, um, but you know, we are very fortunate to have a wonderful support group here in the Twin Cities for people to continue to come and support us. Growing up in this neighborhood, I really appreciate this neighborhood and I wanted to figure out what we can do to give back because we've been here for almost 40 years now it's time for us, because we're established, to kind of give back to the neighborhood. We found a way where we could offer meal vouchers to anybody who needed it or wanted it. And the University of Minnesota's program, Swipe Out Hunger, had a budget where they can support us by purchasing these meal vouchers from us. And what we do is we discounted the meal vouchers. Um, and so they were handing it out to people who needed food and we were able to offer a hot meal. In addition to that, a, a pastry and a beverage so that whoever needed it could stop by. And it was really important for us to be a part of this and, and, and also help out the university. We gave them a big discount on purchasing the meal vouchers because at the end of the day for us, it's not about making a big profit off of it, rather than rather it was more about helping the community out because right now students may be running out of food, um, they might not have the means to buy as much food as they would like um, just because of the pandemic and everything. And so, you know, it was a very nice symbiotic kind of work that we're doing here where the university has the funds to help support us and then in turn we can help support the university and the students.